Cloud with a Chance of Meatballs is based on the highly successful, I mean mediocre film. The premise is simple. Mr. Spiky Hair has built a machine to make obesity fall from the sky like meteoroids. Joking aside, I know this game is going to be great just by taking a glance at the case. I mean, look at this artwork. In the centre, you have Mr. Spiky Hair wielding a boxing glove that has burger reflecting powers. I'm sure he is a hit with Burger King. He, he. Anyways, next to him is his very psychic monkey. He is wielding what seems to be a fish fingers cannon, which I am sure he stole from a school cafeteria. To the left, we have a woman who seems really shocked at the fact that Mr. Spiky Hair is punching that burger. I mean, look at her face and her eyes. Well, that wasn't so bad, I suppose. Let's turn over the case and look at the other side. Well, first of all, I noticed that Mr. Spiker here has disciplined his monkey compadre, as he has seemed to have stolen his fish fingers gun, and the woman from the front seems to have forgotten about her love for burgers and instead falling in love with ice cream instead. That's all I have to say about the case. It's great. Well, let's load up the game then. Having to make a profile, I decided I would rebel against all the food in this game by going with a drink brand instead. So my name is now Finto. Take that, you filling food. Okay, now that is done, let's get into the game. A hub world? Interesting. Well, what can we do here? Upgrades? Options? Exit? Why the hell did it give me a stupid text menu if it had a hub world which was twice as impressive? Why not just let me straight into this, but no. No, you show me some stock basic rubbish menu. Anger aside though, let's get into the game by just running over to the main terminal. Oh, running over to the terminal, do we notice anything weird? Go on, do you see? Do you see what it is? Yeah, that's right, the running animation is really awkward. But it's not because of the animation itself, it's just because I can't have frequently long arms. Like, seriously, have you seen them? They're long. Alright, the game. Let's get to the game. The game seems to change its game style per level, but all levels are basic platformers. The playstyle only changes due to the game changing your weapon of choice, forcing you to change your playstyle. There are multiple weapons in the game, a heat gun thing, a fork, a vacuum, and a lightsaber cheese cutter thing. I guess that lightsaber version was cut from the Star Wars films, because I don't remember Luke Skywalker learning how to cut cheese in the movies. Well, I suppose we should explore the levels, so let's go in level order so we can experience all the playstyles. Oh, the joy. The first level we start out seems to be overrun by ice cream. Oh, the horror. What's the worst that can happen? Is that an ice cream snowman firing chocolate ice cream at me? I think it is. Oh no, he will stay in my lovely clean lab coat. Anyways, the premise of this level is to save some kids who are trapped. But trapped by what, you might be asking? Well, chilli sauce, of course, silly. What did you think, Mr. Freeze? Basically, in this level, all you do is go around melting ice cream and vacuuming up chilli sauce with a cement mixer hoover thing. Eventually you save the kids while they moan that they don't know how things could be worse. But all this moaning just makes me remember my Mr. Freeze jokes again. After saving the children, we are probably kicked out of the level and back to the level select screen so we can go to the next level. In the next level, you get given a fork which can be used to navigate the level. This is done by picking up food with a fork and placing it down to get to hard to reach places. They are even stackable. At one point, you will even use the fork to twirl up cliffs using spaghetti. There is not really much to say about this level, but let's see how it ends. We seem to have come to a beach where rat bats Yes, rat bats are attacking people whose best strategy to avoid this disaster is to stand still and wait until they are carried off into the distance. Anyways, the goal here is to collect butter and put it into this device here. Once done, the rat bags will be scared away by your buttery goodness. Let's see how this machine works. Okay, the cop scratches his head. Seems to be enough to scare the bats away. So what you're saying is the machine was pointless in the end and there was no point to collecting all that butter. Thanks, game. After this, I tried to work on the next level. Crash, 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 and even more crash. Unfortunately, we will have to skip that level as it keeps crashing. However, the concept was that you'd go around with your cheese cutter weapon thing and cut down trees and broccoli to save all those healthy children who don't want to be healthy. Yay. 
Okay, so swiftly moving on to the final level in this tier, you get the most funnest of things to do. Something so fun that you can only do it in a video game. Hoovering! Hooray! The concept is simple. Absorb slime, then use it to your advantage. It's by far the most boring gameplay mechanic yet, making this one of the most boring levels. But it tries to be the cleverest, which I have to give respect to as it's kind of nice how it makes you use the slime in some regards. I would see what the next tier of levels holds for us, but that one level just won't work. So I guess that's that. Overall, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs attempts to have some meaty parts, but it fell short too much in almost every aspect. Hello there, thank you for watching the video. This is the first of many videos I hope to do in the future in this style. Please leave a comment underneath and let me know what you think of the style of video. And don't forget you can subscribe for more content by me, or you can check out my Twitch channel which will also be linked in the description.